Hey yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on our Boeing 747 that we're making. So, with that said, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So guys, last video what we did was we did the horizontal stabilizer, which is this, and we also got started on landing gear. So since last episode, I've actually changed and messed around with the landing gear quite a bit. Not getting the logic in, but um, I've did, I, I did something else which in my opinion is really great. So what I've done since the last video was I figured out a way to do tilting props, or not props, tilting landing gear, like they have on the real 747, which that absolutely took me forever. And the thing about it is a lot of tilt props, or not tilt props, why do I keep saying that? A lot of tilted landing gear uh, seems to have like a death wobble, well, at least in my experience. Um, so, what I've done is I've actually made it so it supports the entire weight of the aircraft so far, and it's stable. There's no wobble to it at all. So, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go ahead and get started with the landing gear. Well, finish the landing gear and make it so it actually can fold in. That's the goal for the end of the episode. So, let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so, getting started, what we're going to do is we're going to go actually delete my little lift we have here right here so we're just going to go ahead and delete this right here and delete these right here so as this and that okay cool so what we're going to do is we're going to make a place for the landing gear to actually fold so we're actually going to change this around a little bit so this was the plan to hold on gear in but what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a slightly different so let me go ahead and actually leave this little bit here so I can grab these. I'll place these to the side, grab the tracks, place these to the side, then I'll delete this. Okay, so what I had planned, well actually I'm going to go ahead and make these holes a little bigger so they can actually uh, hold these without snacking. So how we're going to do it is we're going to have these here, four of them roughly, and we're going to go ahead and extend this platform back by two blocks, just like this. Um, there we go. That'll do it. So, we're going to leave it at that, and we're going to go ahead and grab the same track, and we're going to place it right along here, just like that. And now we're going to go ahead and grab our track uh, sliding grip connector. Yeah, sliding connector grip. And we're just going to go ahead and place them alongside of this. So, that way... When they are folded down, they have something to grab onto, except one small factor I forgot to do was move them forward so they actually connect. So we need to do that really quick. So let's actually go ahead and select all this. Let's move it to right here, and then we will merge it with the thing. So let's go ahead and merge this really quick and that really quick. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this, and we're going to invert it just like that and we're just going to place it on here and merge it just like that okay so that is the actual folding part what we now need to do is we need to make the flap for the line gear to fold up into so what I'm going to do really quickly is I'm actually going to change the wheels to be the 3x3 three three wheels but I'm going to make the size bigger so um, a, a quick little reminder that I've done many times is if you have wheels as landing gear, you want to invert it. You want to make sure that the arrows are facing the right way, the way they spin. Otherwise, they will literally be just a big break. I've <laughs> had aircraft that had that exact same setup, and well, it, let me just say it took me hours to figure it out. So yeah, don't ever have wheels inverted they will be literal breaks. Okay, so let's just simply go ahead and replace these to be the three by threes, and we'll just go ahead and make these bigger. So the reason why we're doing that is we want to have a little bit more space for this to actually go up, because it looks like this, if it had the five by fives, it would snag on this. So that's something that's not good. So we're just going to go ahead and go over here. We inverted it a second ago. And actually, we deleted the wrong part. So we'll just go ahead and place here these here like that. Okay, now let's go ahead and change these to be, I think these are 
roughly four by fours because they go halfway onto this block and halfway into this block so it'd be three blocks across and then two half blocks so yeah it's four across so let's just simply go ahead and finish with this and there we go i think that'll work yeah that'll that'll be it okay let's go ahead and start doing the rest of the mechanics of it so this is going to fold up now i need some doors so let's grab some robotic pivots one of my favorite items in the game so we're going to place it so that the positive will be going clockwise and the other side will be going counterclockwise which will fold inwards and then we'll just place this here and here there we go so let's go ahead and cover these up just like that okay let's go ahead and cover these up really quick as well um so they only need to be one block down and then a another block down so this will reach across wait is this four is this four blocks what in the world oh oh what the heck <laughs> i guess it is four blocks across all right Cool, so we're just going to go ahead and start with our bar to cover up the stuff. So we're just going to go ahead and build across just like this. Then we will merge this with this and this with that right there. Okay, now we're going to extend this to here and then this will go to here. Okay, then this will go to here. Then we'll just simply merge these just like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and go with this so this is going to fold inwards and it's going to meet with this right here so that the doors are even. So it's going to be half blocks and half blocks. So we're actually going to make the one that's going on top, which is this one. We're gonna make this one so it is 1.5 speed. Okay, just like that. 1.5 as well It's 1.5. Is this 1.5? No, this is not. Let's change this to 1.5. Okay, this is 1.5. Okay, that's that's all we need for that. Then we just need to do the logic later. So these are done. We just need to do logic for that. Now, time to do this one, which will be fun. Okay, so we're going to need to make these doors quite wide. So what we're going to do really quickly, we're actually going to go ahead and select all of this including this as well as the, actually not that. So we're gonna go ahead and select this and this, as well as this and this and that and this and that. And then finally, we'll go across and grab all this, one more block. So this block right here. Okay, I think that's it. We're gonna go ahead and cut it and we're gonna move it forward a block. There we go. Now we're gonna merge it with the rest of the aircraft. Then we're going to do we're going to grab this right here. We're going to select this and then go all the way over to here. That. And then this. We'll go ahead and copy this and paste it over one block just like that. There we go. Okay. This is... It's now time to actually make the door. So, the door will open up right before this folds in. And then as soon as this folds in, the door will close. So, it'll open for it to get in there. Then it'll close for it to stay in there. <laughs> All right. So I don't think we really need that much of the actual bottom of the fuselage. So this will go, I'm gonna assume this is gonna go down two blocks for the prop tilt. No, not the prop tilt, the wheel tilt. So this is 12 blocks down. It's going to go 12 blocks from the pivot block right here. So we need to go 12 blocks across to about right here but we're gonna go back two blocks to be safe. So, right here will be where the doors start. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to go back to right here. So this is where the doors are gonna be. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this to bow right here. I'm gonna select here and maybe one block further back. So I'm now going to go ahead and Graph a little bit higher. Actually, no, that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. I'm gonna paste it. Now, to save time, I'm gonna go to the other side and paste it right here. And I do not wanna merge it like I almost did, but now we're gonna go ahead and make some pivots for this to actually pivot. 
So they're going to face positive to out. And these ones, we actually have to move it a block further forward because these right here are tracks. As you can see, they're tracks. So now let's go ahead and merge everything. So we're gonna merge that with that. This with this, this will go with this. And this one will, yeah, we'll just merge, the, merge that there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and make the little uh, doors for it, not the doors. I meant to say the little cargo bays. Yeah, cargo base would be the right word for that. So now let's go ahead and just simply make this simpler. <laughs> All right, um, so this right here will be five blocks. It'll swing to past here. So we don't, I don't think I need to worry about this, but just in case what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to save it really quickly. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and build down a stand. And I'm going to go ahead and move the vehicle up to about the top of the stand, which is right about here. No, that needs to be... We'll just move this down temporarily. So let's move this all the way back here. It's going to go sideways a little ways. And now let's go grab a couple throttle levers. Okay, now that we did that, we're going to go ahead and place this right here and this right here this right here so these three throttle levers are going going to control a couple things so this will go here and it'll, oh, it will open the door then this one will go ahead and close this so we're good to go we could go out and actually spawn in really quickly so now we're gonna go ahead and spawn it in and yeah it's spawned in okay let's turn on infinite electrics what are those blocks right there those blocks I think are gonna get in the way. So let's go ahead and delete those really quickly. Yeah, we'll just delete them. And now we're gonna spawn it. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and open the doors or open the door. And we're going to fold this. Okay, that doesn't fit. So we're gonna actually go ahead, delete a couple blocks back there. So let's return it to the workbench like we just did. Now let's go ahead and delete this a little bit so i think this is all we need to delete so let's go ahead and just fill this in just like so just like that okay now let's go ahead and spawn it back in just like this and there we go now that's spawned in let's go ahead and open nope that was the wrong thing whoops ah it's getting away oh what the heck what in the world? Interesting, okay. Didn't expect that to happen. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and fold it away. Okay, maybe the tilt prop is prop, I mean, tilted too far. Um, huh. Well, to fix that, what I can do is change the magnet to be on this side right here. I'm going to go ahead and place a robotic pivot right uh i think right here maybe right here yeah i'll just go ahead and place a robotic pivot right here and this will have magnet on it and what this will do this pivot's actually backwards let me go ahead and change that direction so this pivot will go right here and I think that's the right direction. So now let's just go ahead and merge this really quickly. And let's go ahead and place a block back there because there was a block there before, but now there's not. So if we connect this to the pivot that we just placed down, it's going to move the magnet and theoretically destroy the tilt prop. Well, not destroy it, but make it not tilting. <laughs> um, why are these all folded like that? That's kind of weird. Um, okay, let's go ahead and open the door. This is the door. Okay, now if we... What in the world? Uh, it was not supposed to happen. Okay. Now I gotta figure out why the props aren't folding to the tilt position. So, let me go ahead and grab some weight blocks. These ones right here will do. Now I'm just going to simply fill these areas with weight. So that it will rotate down. And also, the pivot is facing the wrong direction. So actually, 
Let me go ahead and turn this to zero and this one to negative one. Now let's try it. Okay, so. Um, interesting, I don't get why these are going the wrong way. Maybe. Maybe something we can do. Actually, let me just check if this gets rid of the tilt prop. I think. I think all we need to do is put this... Actually, let's fix the tilt prop problem first. So, uh, why do I keep saying prop? Alright, tilted landing gear. Alright, so what I need to do first of all is to maybe put this back here. I don't know if that's going to help with the actual landing gear problem. Um, so, what we could do actually is we can go ahead and place this right here. So this will stop the actual land gear from going too far forward. Now, if we place this right here, and this right here, as well as this right here, that theoretically could help with stopping it. So if we do that, it should theoretically not get stuck. Why is it getting stuck? Ah. It's mildly annoying. All right, let me go ahead and change the block type. So this right here, this, uh, no, is uh, this one right here. This will be a solid block and this will be the switch. Okay, let me try that. Okay, let's go spawn it. And no, what in the world? Why is this suddenly failing me? It's working five minutes ago. I do not get it. Alright. Maybe there's a block in the way. Let me try fix that. Let me see if there is a block in the way. Um. So theoretically. There shouldn't be a block in the way now. So this is... Oh, actually, you know what? A solution I can do is, instead of this, is I can place a block right here, and that, that will make sure that it tilts. Actually, let me change it to this. And now I'll do a 1x2 wedge. So I'll place this here, and that way it will be limited on where this can actually go. So this will make sure it will be stuck at a 45 degree angle, theoretically. Eh, man, that failed. That really failed. Why is this broken? That is my question. Okay, what if I tried a magnet right here? No, that'll pull. Um, this could be working. Oh man, what what did I do wrong this time? Um. Huh. That is so weird. You know what? Um. Uh, I have no idea. Huh. That's odd. I don't know. Well, I'm going to figure this out, and then I will be back with you guys. Well, that's really annoying. I figured out the problem. The problem is a very dumb, dumb problem. Well, not a dumb problem. I figured out the problem. The solution was super simple, but I didn't even think about it at the time. It's a good thing that there's such thing as troubleshooting. So, what the problem was, was infinite electrics. Infinite electrics, you might ask. But... The thing with infinite electrics is it powers absolutely everything. Nothing is left without electricity. And how these rotate is unpowered robotic pivots. So robotic pivots, when they do not have electricity, they can function as a, a 
rotation pivot, but with some resistance. So when they are given electricity, they do provide lots of resistance to return to the original position. However, when I turned on infinite electrics, there was absolutely a lot of resistance to the rotation of the actual landing gear, so that's why I wasn't tilting down, because the infinite electrics was on, because it had power to the hinge pivots, as I'm going to call them. Now, this needs electrics. I need to add electrics to this. Alright, um, which pivot was it? This pivot right here needs electrics. No, that's a... that's the wrong thing. Actually, where did my... Let's go. Um, I don't know what happened with this. Alright. I did something wrong again. What did I do wrong again? Oh, you know what? It was, um... I think it's, uh, this right here. I think it needs that, but I'm not certain. I'm gonna try. That might be the problem. I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and try. Uh... This is a small problem. Huh. That's not good. Um. Wow. Alright, I think I have an idea. Maybe if I delete the blocks that are hitting the, the hitboxes. Hitting the hitboxes, yes. Um, maybe that'll get rid of the actual collision. So, let me just go ahead and delete that really quick. Now, let me spawn it back in. Alright. This may work. This did not work. Cool. Okay. So, now I'm just going to go ahead and try it out. It's only a small wiggle. It's not that big of a deal. Let me try to fold it. Yay! It worked. Woohoo! Alright. Even though, oh, I guess it's going to fly. All right, cool. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Game crashed. Okay, now that it's spawned in, this is the most recent save file. Yes. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to return it to the workbench. Okay, that almost crashed. Um, Time to do logic. Cool. All right, now let's do some logic. So let's go ahead delete actually let's keep that for now so um i think i'm going to uh yeah let's do some logic okay so let's do the uh side gear first then we'll do the middle gear and then we'll do the front gear last so i'm going to load up a save file which i have logic for which is i think it's line of gear yeah it's called line of gear controller all right, where is it? It's right there. Okay, so I haven't taken the time to put in a microcontroller, but it's it's fine. It works. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place this here. Then, oh, it's floating. Okay, cool. Let me lower it to down blocks. Uh, let me lower it down two blocks, I meant to say. Okay, let's merge it really quickly, just like that. Let me go ahead and grab a toggle button. This one right here. And let me place one tug button, not two. Um, so let me go ahead and connect these to the chargers, or sorry, the capacitors. So this add will go to the doors, because the doors are going to have two functions, and this is gathering two functions. So we'll just put it to here. Now this one is the single function, which will be this right here, which will fold the actual gear. So... Let's go ahead and spawn in, and actually I need to connect a battery to the logic, because infinite electrics cannot be on. If it is on, it will break the props. Uh, no, dang it, why do I keep saying props? I meant to say landing gear. Landing gear, landing gear. Why do I keep saying props? Anyways, let's go ahead and connect the electrics to everything, including the button. And there we go, now let's save it. And spawn it in. Yeah, let's spawn in now that we have it saved. Okay. Now let's go ahead and toggle this. 
Okay, it's going to open the doors, it's going to fold all the gear, and then BAM! It is gone. Now, we have one more thing to figure out, which is this little gap right here. So, um, as far as I know, all we need to do is, I think we need to just place a line that blocks just like this until it's four blocks down, which is about right here. But, to make it more decorative, I'm going to make it three blocks. No, I'm not. I'm going to make it two blocks. Because there is a pivot to part of this. So, yeah. We'll make it two blocks. So, this will go to here. This will cover that up. Now, um, I think the top will have to go up one. To about right here. I'm going to make it a wedge. Just like this. So this will fold down and it should fold into right here. Let's give it a try. So let's spawn it in. I should have saved it because Stormworks crashes all the time. Okay, so let me go ahead and fold it now. All right, one more block higher. Needs to go, oh, please don't crash. All right, Stormworks, stop crashing. That's two times in a couple minutes. And the thing is, that plane's not that laggy for me. I've spawned it in hundreds of times. Hundreds of times. Uh, but, in some of the more recent updates, they've made it so the game crashes more. It's not my computer, because I'm not really running much. I'm only running a recording software and Stormworks. But, I've recorded hundreds of time-lapse that I haven't posted, and it rarely crashes, except in the newer updates. Okay. Let's try now. All right, we need to go up a block. So let's go ahead, go to it. So let's turn mirror mode on, which I don't think it was on last time. Yes, it was, luckily. Okay, we're gonna go down a block and then we're gonna use a one by four wedge. So, I'll just go ahead and place this like that. Okay, now let's spawn it. I should have saved it. I should have saved it. All right, let's go ahead and Wow, that really needs to be fixed. Okay. So, let's go ahead and fold it really quick. Perfect. Okay, please don't crash my game. Okay. That was lucky. Okay, now let's go ahead and go to the land gear and fix the ultra, bo ultra wobble, as I'm going to call it. So maybe it only needs one piston? If it doesn't need that, then I don't know what it'll need. Okay. That actually significantly helped it. Now, let's go ahead and fold it. Just like this, and bam, and bam. Hooray! We got some of the land gear to work. That's good. Awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and return it to the workbench. Please don't crash. Cool, it didn't crash. Now let's do the logic for the back landing gear. So let's grab a capacitor. This one right here. And we will need two capacitors. So will these two? Actually, they're backwards, so let me go place it right here. Okay, this one will take zero seconds to off charge and three seconds to on charge. This one will take three second this takes three seconds to charge and zero seconds to send. Now I need two compact pivots, one compact numerical switch box I meant, which is basically a numerical switch box with a constant one. That's all. That all that's all it is. Alright, let's go ahead and connect this to our doors, so the doors will fold afterward. And yeah, let's go ahead and connect it to all of these. Then, the thing with this is it will be a up down encounter so we need actually no we need a knot my bad so we'll place this knot right here and we will go ahead and connect this to the up arrow just like this actually no it'll connect to the wait what's positive so positive is up, negative is down. So we need to connect it to down because the 
Negative arrow is facing down, so this needs to go to all of the downs, just like that. Then the capacitor, the direct capacitor. Um, yeah, the direct capacitor will go to the ups, just like this. Bam, there we go. So now we'll connect this to the toggle button and we'll try it out. So let's go ahead and save it just like that. Now let's spawn it. Oh, actually, no, it's not going to work. I need to release the connectors for the up one. So let me return it to the workbench really quickly. And let me go to the knot. Oh, well, sorry, the capacitor. And let me connect it to all the release the release connectors to all of these magnets that are holding it in place so basically it can actually go up with being released when it's told to go up so let's save it and there we go now let's spawn it okay there we go so now we forgot battery <laughs> all right let's go ahead give it some electricity so let's go ahead and connect this to this, 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 and this, as well as this, 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 that, and that, as well as this, and that, and that. Okay, now let's go ahead and save it, and let's spawn it. Just like this, right now. Now that it is spawned, we can try and fold the line of gear. So that's gonna go up. Oh no, it's stuck. And whoa! Um, we, I guess, the, the first flight of the plane was a unexpected flight of the plane. Um, yeah, let's return it to the workbench. Ah, I can't return it. Ah, maps, return. Okay, cool. All right, now let's go ahead and return it. Okay, so... This got stuck, presumably, at the back. So, what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and grab all this back area, just like this, we're gonna cut it, and we're gonna move this. Actually, we need to grab this too. So let's press Control Z. Let's go ahead and cut this and move this back two blocks. Actually, we'll just, yeah, we'll move it back one block. So this is because the, the tilt prop got stuck so we need to fix that so let's go ahead and fill this in just like this there we go now let's go ahead and merge this with this this with this and this needs to be merged with that same with uh why isn't this connecting confused i am so let's actually go ahead and fill this in just like this there we go now we can go ahead and merge it, just like this. Uh, that didn't merge. Why didn't it merge? There we go, now it merged, okay. Let's just connect all that up. Now, let's go ahead and build these. Let's turn on the mirror mode, just because we need it to be mirrored. So let's go ahead and place this wedge here, so with this wedge here. Okay, now let's go ahead and save it, not load it. If we loaded it, that would be horrible because we wouldn't save it. And it'll just backtrack on progress okay now it has spawned in yep it spawned it okay let's go ahead no why is it getting stuck why is it getting stuck Ugh. is it the wheels is there a hitbox problem oh no that's mildly disappointing I see why, because there is no track above this, because we cut and paste the landing gear forward. Yeah, so that's, yeah, that's annoying. Okay, that's why it did not fold up, because that stupid track was not complete. Now, work, please work this time. Uh, zoom. Why is it zooming this time? Okay, is there a hitbox problem? Okay, this is slightly short. So we need to fix this. All right, we need to fix that. Yeah, okay. 
Um, is this... Okay, why is this... I don't get it. Why is this causing problems? Ah, uh, please don't kill me. Oh, I'm still in teleport mode. No clip mode. Alright, let's, uh, right. I did not mean to go into chat. Their damage is off. I went all the way back to behind the hangar. Okay, now we shall figure this out. Why is this broken? I don't know. But what I do know is I'm going to change this and this to blocks. Just like that and that. Okay, so now let's try it, I guess. Um, maybe, okay, I don't get why it's not working. That's really odd. So, what I can try, I can just try and fill this in, just like this, as well as this, and enclose it to be in a enclosed space. So let me just drag this to here, as well as this to here, and this will be dragged to here, just like that. Okay, let me save it. Now let me spawn it. Sorry for the extreme length of this episode. I just really wanted to get some progress and haven't really been making a lot of videos recently. So I wanted to make this video longer. What? But why did this not work? Oh, maybe any of the connectors were not disconnected. Maybe there was no electricity to some parts of it. Maybe something happened. So... Um... This hitbox goes to here. This... What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Okay. You know what I can do besides complain about it not working when I want it to is I can simply do this in the meantime you know what actually I think I know why that didn't work that time because it snagged on the blocks so those wedges I had were actually pretty useful let me try again if it doesn't work this time then I will be ultra sad oh it went up and it flew away it got up and it flew away. Oh my gosh. It is getting RKO'd by pivot glitches. And bam. Oh, there we go. Um. I do see this as a bit. Wait a second. I think I might know why. Hitboxes are my enemy. I think it's because of these hitboxes. You see these hitboxes? They're very much like hitboxes. Yes, logic go Bert. Okay. Um, <laughs> let me replace these with wedges. That might actually help because the hitboxes are getting snagged and I forgot to do it on one side. I need to return it to the workbench and I forgot to save. Lovely. All right, let me return it to the workbench and save it. Okay, let me actually fix the problem first on the other side. So, now, let me save it after I place these. Just like that. Now, let me save it. Ha ha ha. Okay, it is saved. Let me spawn it. Wah ha ha. Alright, now that it has spawned, I will try and make it work. <gasps> oh, we're still flying. Alright. Wow, that's disappointing. Oh, you know what? What if I just left this alone? Maybe this is the problem overall. This is going to the wrong hitbox. Let me just try that. This doesn't work. I don't know what will. Something, obviously. But, let me just try... No, it didn't work. Oh! Snagged. Alright! This is frustrating. Why is this not working? Let me just 
delete this. Oh, I forgot to do on the other side. Let me just go ahead and delete this. See if that is catching the hitbox of the actual track. If it's catching the hitbox, then that's really dumb. Because there is pure air there, except the hitbox. Okay, so this snagged somewhere. Do know where? Because the door's already closing. Um, okay, so once this is in here. Okay, I didn't see as big of a problem as this time. Let me try that again, see if that was just luck of the draw that that caught on the actual door. If it isn't luck of the draw and it happens again, I'll have to extend the time of the capacitor to give it more time to get in. Or, I think... Oh, you know what? I think I know why it is broken. Um... Well, I think it's because that, wherever it is, um, the landing gear is too low to the ground. Well, sorry, too, yeah, it's too low from the actual thing. So I don't think this is actually going up all the way. So that's a problem. Seven blocks, this goes seven blocks down. This, including this, is seven blocks. What? All right. Um, that was weird. Why did this happen? You know what? I think I could try something. Robotic pivot. Let me go over robotic pivot really quickly. This right here. This robotic pivot will go right here um right here i said right here there we go and it will connect to this magnet okay and it will theoretically actually the the thing's going the, the wrong way let me just grab a numerical switch box so theoretically the magnet should make it go back some uh make the props and uh, not the props but the wheels tilt less maybe that will help with this so let me actually change this to be negative 0.5 let me update it let me go ahead and connect this to the pivot which is right here and here let's grab some electricity and give this pivot electricity and this and now we'll go ahead and connect this to here, and now let's save it, and hopefully we don't go for another flight. Normally that's the opposite of what you do want to say when you're talking about a plane. Hopefully we don't fly, I should say. No. 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 No, it didn't work. Alright. It's not connected. It's not connected. What is it connected to? Um, rotational target. Negative 0.5. Maybe I need to do a little bit higher of a number. Negative 0.7. Maybe that'll work. Um, if it doesn't, then that'll be sad. Let me save it really quickly so I can see if I'm going to be sad or not, which hopefully I will not be sad. Hopefully this works. All right, so let's fold it. It did not tilt the right way. Okay, where is the pivot? The pivot is here. It didn't go the right way, it looks like. Let me teleport here. Ah, ah, all right. You know what? This is super frustrating, this issue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna end the episode here. Now that it's been like 50 minutes or something, I don't know how long the edit's gonna be. But I think I'll just fix the problem in between this episode and the next episode. So 
All right, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. So I do appreciate everyone for taking time out of their day to watch this video. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more content similar to this, which is building build challenges, tutorials, and much more. So with that said, I will see you guys in the next one. So bye for now.